Good day, everyone. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Goldmere, an Emergent Technologies Director at GE Gas Power. I want to talk to you about a decade of action. Addressing climate change must be a global priority. We think about the world today, we emit roughly 33 gigatons of carbon a year. And that's across multiple sectors, power, transportation, industry. But if we think about the power sector specifically, we emit roughly 41% of that. So as I said, I want to think about this as a decade of action and what do we need to do? The great news is we have technologies available today for the power sector to produce power without carbon emissions. Wind, solar, hydro, all renewables combined produce about 27%, and that's great. But there are some trends towards the future we need to think about. We think about electrification of society, sectors that we're going to change instead of using fossil fuels, whether it be transportation, aviation, heavy industry, that will require more electricity. Let's also think about the hundreds of millions of people around the world today who don't have access to reliable electricity, and we want and expect that to change in the future. Those trends will increase global demand for electricity over the coming decades. Now, the good news is we believe that the accelerated growth of renewables will help. But there are forecasts that say that in 2040, renewables will only provide about 58% of total electrical capacity. We'll have a gap. How do we fill that gap? The great news is we have technologies available today to do so. Where it makes sense, where it's applicable, we can transition from coal to natural gas, which reduces carbon emissions. And once you're using natural gas, let's say in natural gas combined cycle power plants, you could have more efficient power plants and the more efficient the power plant is, the less carbon emits. But let's think about that natural gas combined cycle, that gas turbine technology. You're not locked in to a carbon-based fuel like methane. There are things you can do in the future to decarbonize that portion of the power sector. And I like to think of those in kind of two categories, pre and post combustion. Pre-combustion systems really are technologies around fuels. Hydrogen, renewable natural gas, synthetic methane, biofuels. These are fuels you could utilize today to reduce the carbon footprint of a power plant. Let's take hydrogen as an example. GE has used gas turbines burning hydrogen and similar fuels for decades. In fact, we have over 6 million operating hours on hydrogen and similar low heating value fuels. Let's talk post-combustion. There are commercial technologies available today, like amine systems, that can be used to capture the carbon emissions from power plants. And again, I want to reinforce the notion that these are technologies available today. And furthermore, these are technologies that you can bring to both new power plants as well as existing power plants operating today. Now, I want to bring us back to where I started, talking about a decade of action. Climate change is an issue that should be a global priority. We need smart, cohesive policies nationally and internationally that accelerate the development of technologies. When we think about hydrogen and carbon capture, we need supply chains. We need the ability to transport these fuels. We need the ability for doing carbon capture to transport the carbon to where it's going to be utilized or sequestered. We need that partnership. And again, it's a decade of action. We could think about using renewables and gas turbines together to accelerate this transition. If you're interested in learning more about what GE is doing and GE thinks on this topic, I encourage you to download our white paper or listen to our podcast. I want to thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Thank you.